this video, I will show you how to download our software and also how to install your software onto your home computer, workstations, or network computers. Let's get started. Now, to install the software, what you will need are the installation files. If you don't already have a copy of the installation files, you can download it from our website at www.cmgl.ca. Here on the screen is our home page of our website. Now to really download your software, you need to follow a couple of steps. Step number one, you need to sign up for an account. Step number two, your account you need to be approved by one of our representatives before you can download the software. Let's look at step number one. How do I sign up? website here you'll see this little padlock This is where you can access your account. Now if you already have an account with us, you can log in here using your credentials. If you don't, you can click on the create new account and it will take you to a page where you can enter your information and create a new account. And the information is pretty straightforward. You ask you for an email. We recommend you use your work email which makes the verification of your account much easier name, your job title, your phone number, and your company name. Uh, very important that your company name is spelled uh, correctly. We also use this to verify the account and ensure that you can download the software. You address your company, where your company is located, as well as the country. Uh, the country is also very important. This allows us to direct this account to the right regions. We have the right region support. Of course, finally verifying your number. On the right hand side here, if, if you want, you can let us know what your interests are and we will keep you updated as we have new videos, courses, or materials that come out related to any of this topic. So I've done a registration already and once you've done this, and at the bottom when you click on create a new account, what it does it will send you a verification email to the email that you have entered. You go to that email, click on the link, and from that link, you will be allowed to change your password. So very important that you do that before you have access to any of us. So I'm going to ahead and create myself an account right there. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to that account. Download software. Okay, now you will see here a message saying that the account is not approved to download. If you see this message, don't worry. All you need to do is contact your salesperson in that region and they will open up your account. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll lock up this account and I will lock into another account as well. Once log in, you see that it looks slightly different than before. It has your information, and at the bottom here, it has all the download documentation events. If I go to the download software, now you can see we have all the feature releases that we've had so far. And we have the last two releases, as well as one previous release, just in case you need a version for some reason. We do recommend you download our latest general release, which in this case is a 24 year mid year release that was released in February this year. This will contain the most updated version of our software. So the download is very simple. What version you're looking at, Windows, download here. And what it does it will save this file onto the location you specified. Okay. okay, it will start with that 
process. And you can monitor at the top here how fast these downloads Now it's a big file, it's about almost two gigabytes. So it might take your engineer connection anywhere from 15 minutes to maybe an hour or two to download. Now once it downloaded, you just go to the folder that you specified. In my case here, I download to the desktop, and you should see the zip file. The 109.gw reads a submit here generally this. You can extract this file. And onto my desktop again. I go extract. And what we do is extract all the zip files onto the folder, onto your desktop. Give it a few seconds here for it to uh, unzip and extract all the files, and then we can continue on with the installation process. While this is unzip, I want to remind you that you need administrative rights to install these files. So if you don't have that, you should talk to your IT personnel to give you that capability to this installation. So when this unzip, you can see it pops up on here at the bottom of my screen here. And here is the full folder of our general release. So let's go ahead with the installation. Double click on that, you can see this is the window version. So we download it. Inside the window version, there are a few files. The only one that you need to know about is the setup. Set up, and then we'll start setting up the software to your computer. Right. Now, if you, if you have the latest Windows 10 version installed, you might run into this problem where it doesn't recognize the setup file. Now, if you download it directly from a website, it's very safe. If you receive it someone else, please be careful. If you download it directly from our startup website, it's very safe. So you can click for more info. Force it to open it. You know, you know that it's a safe file. So it doesn't do it. Okay, so this thing here is a subtract of files. Bring all the files from the inspection to the There you go, it's extracting. Okay, once again, if you're running a older computer or one that is currently running a lot of processes and other Background. This process itself will take a little longer. Okay, as you can see, it goes through the insertion process like many other Windows software. So now it's ready to install, and you will see it very soon. tells you what is being installed, what software is on here. Okay. Here you can put your username. What this does is it identifies the user here so you can send us any diagnostic or licensing device we use from the company's So here select the type of licensing number for this computer. Now for this one, I'm going to take it onto a different screen and explain to you what these three separate licensing options are. First up, we have the standalone installation and licenses. In this setup, the software as well as the license stays on the local machine and can only be used on that machine. 
devices cannot be shared, and if you upgrade or change computers, we will need to send you a brand new set of licenses. The next setup is the network client. In this setup, the software will install on the individual user's machines. However, in this setup, the licenses themselves will be stored on the centralized license server, which I will discuss in the next step. This setup allows for the sharing of licenses, as any remaining license can be used by any authorized person that is connected to the license server. The final option is the network license server. Pick this option if you are setting up the license server itself. The license server is connected to all the network clients and are responsible for hosting as well as distributing any of the licenses requested by the clients. understand what each of them are, feel free to pick the one that applies to your situation. So for me right now, it's on my own computer, I'm going to click Standalone. Here you can select what you want to use to schedule your simulation drives. Okay, if you're running off on your own computer, typically we suggest you use a launcher. And launcher will manage and launch your jobs onto your own computer. Have multiple users and you're using a node cluster, then you can also use the first option, which is a CMG job service. And that will allow you to manage and run jobs off of different nodes and different clusters. So, in my case, once again, I'm going to use my launcher, and that will be my scheduling for my jobs. This next one here, you have also an option to either install this on your premise, which is on a computer that you have, whether it's your own desktop, workstations, or data center, or you have the option to use a cloud. If you're interested in the cloud, please see our other video on how to cloud. That will clarify you all the different options that we offer for our cloud services. So in my case, once again, we are doing this on my own computer here. I will click next for the on-premise option. This one step asks you where you want to install it to. The default is always to see the program files as CMG. So I'm going to leave it as a default. If you have different locations you want to install it to, feel free to change it here in this, in this one. And that's it. Now I'm going to start the installation. Okay, it easily show may take about 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes more. Speed your computer, what else to be on your computer. Okay, so we're gonna speed up through this process and we're gonna see waiting for it to speed up. Now, if you accidentally click no, don't worry. Once the software install, you can go back and reissue this host ID using this other option that I will show you later. Okay, so the host ID, once again, put on your name, your company, where you are, your email address. Phone number, fax number, it's optional. Okay, and you can put down the license site, it will automatically default to the standard license, um, which is what we installed it. When you want to switch to network server or network client, you can do that also. Uh, what for this one, I recommend you do is save it to a text file and then email this text file to your representative. That way, you get it for sure, we can issue the license. So I can find it easily. I can call the license. Save it. And you can see right there it pops up as a license. So you send that to your representative. And we can issue the license to this 
So that's done. Now it's just wrapping up the installation. So using a few command window pops up, we're going to break up that. And then finally, it tells you that it's been completed. Here's the option you can see the readme file. It asks you to restart the computer just like many other installations. And once you restart it, you will use the software. So, that's the end of our how to guide for CMG software. And thank you for watching and following along. We will have more videos to follow, so subscribe to our channel or sign up on the website to keep up with the latest news and releases.